Morning people of the world, doing another video, what's that about? Uh, I'm in Staffordshire uh, with a colleague from work, uh, Colin. Colin's using the Ruth Salter 71 today, and myself, I'm with the Simplex. So uh, it's a pretty, pretty decent site by all accounts. I mean, um, from what I've seen, the LiDAR is, is phenomenal. Uh, a lot of ridge and furrows and what have you. Uh, lots of nice hints of lumps and bumps to look at. So uh, we've got several fields to look at and there's a river just over there. So uh, we'll crack on and if I find any finds, because I've got to get gold today, I reckon. Let's put that out there. <laughs> Behave. Well, I'm going to go for a half hour or so now. Not found anything of consequence. But look at that. Beautiful tree houses. Another one there. Colin in the background. Absolutely stunning. What a day. And that church over there is uh, got a medieval structure within it. And we're not far away from you. Um, Roman sites as well, and I mean very close to a garrison and a, a township, so, so the bit. So with the, uh, <clears throat> the Dr. Macro Simplex, and I apologise for my voice, I had the COVID-19 and it's left me still uh, struggling to talk 100%, but uh, Knock the macro, simplex, it's also waterproof. So I'm not going in very far because I ain't got any waders on, but uh, just an impression of it working its way underwater. It's not a problem. Simply, simply lovely. So after quite some time of uh, digging nothing but tin foil and camp pop, sadly, uh, Seems to be, obviously, the, the site has been a horse paddock for quite some time, uh, so there's a lot of field rubbish. Uh, most of the hits are iron, but I finally just had my first hit of consequence. Sadly, it's only 2p, but it's a coin anyway, so uh, first find of the day. Train going past as we speak. And uh, I'm about to enter this field, which is one on the LiDAR, which shows the uh, ridge and furrow, so... <sighs> Let's hope it's a little bit better. So, I've come to the other side of the river, and straight away, George VI, Benny. I'm happy with that. So, we're a bit nearer the house on this side, one of the old farms. So, uh, horses, me and horses don't get on. Small snorry. Once upon a time, when I was about eight or nine, mummy and daddy used to always go caravanning. So, off we went on our jaunt to the new forest and uh, it was at a time when the young ones were <clears throat> very prominent on TV so I was pretending to be nailed to a horse and it kicked me and put me in hospital and that was my last relationship with horses <laughs> anyway George at the six penny so another hole another coin getting old it George the fifth penny and I've even got to wade in the river. Very nice here. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but I can. Look at the undulating ground, the medieval uh, farming. Beautiful. Beautiful day. Well, this one took me a while to uh, to pinpoint. I was quite surprised, actually. Uh, George the Fifth, Hapenny. So, stuff in the ground where I am now. 
seems to be more of a because it's near to the road than the houses seem to be more going on so crack on the peoples well i enjoyed that it was a very nice day thank you to uh my work pal colin for inviting me along to his uh site uh sadly he currently hasn't got a machine so i um brought in the rutus alter 71 to use uh the site itself was fascinating from a historical aspect. Uh, the only problem was, sadly, it was um, it was very, very hard soil. Um, and it hadn't been ploughed or anything for over 100 years. It's past year. So finding things was a, a premium, especially on the first side of the river. On the adjacent side of the river, which had a little wade in and it was quite delightful. And a little play with the simplex, but uh, I wasn't putting that on film because inevitably that would end up uh, me phone in the river. So on the other side, more to the house, uh, I was able to find, uh, as you saw, four coins, uh, modern 2p. Sorry, that was on the, the first side. So on the adjacent side, there was the um, George the sixth penny, uh, the George the fifth penny and the George the fifth halfpenny. Uh, there is some other things folded lead and such like but I don't think there's anything else of consequence until I uh, investigate when I get home so uh, again decent day it's nice to get out metal detecting uh, let's get political for a moment and say don't do it in groups not yet it's not right it's the government haven't said so people think of the coronavirus thing uh, that's for me thank you all ta-ta